so we just pulled up to the beaver pond here. We used to do this when I was a kid. I haven't really done it much recently, but we always had the best luck. You find like beaver ponds or slowed rivers, so there's a pool, a reason for the shiners to stick around. Fast moving rivers can work, particularly in the summer, but never had good luck in the winter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk out there, chop a hole, get set up. We gotta see how much is actually out here to make sure we can go. Not very much. I have enough. That'll be good like that. So we've always used dog food. People use bread balls, oats in a bag, all sorts of things. But we always had good luck with this. And when you find them, you find them. So just gotta put the trap together. over the clip is what holds the trap together if your hands work so I just want that down right there it's maybe 18 inches under the ice you can cut a stick offshore I grab this just to support it over the hole so we're probably in five feet of water. And we're just gonna let that sit down there. We're gonna check it tomorrow, middle of the day. It's the evening right now, the sun's gonna be down in about a half hour. If you don't have what you want in there in 12 to 24 hours, you need to move spots. It's not a thing where you gotta sit here for a week and wait for them. Either they're gonna be there or they're not. So we'll come back, we'll check this tomorrow, it'll be good. Now if you were doing this on a lake where people frequently walk around, you cut a pretty sizable hole, lots of times bigger than that. You wanna mark it with branches or a stick so that people don't fall in. And also, if it's really cold out, that hole's gonna freeze up. It's gonna be hard to get your trap out without destroying it. So what you wanna do is snap off some like hemlock limbs, some thick limbs, a lot of stuff going on, and jam them all in the hole. Because then when it freezes, that takes up a bunch of space and it's a lot easier to poke the hole back open, pull the branches out so you can keep it free. Cause you know, tonight it's gonna be like 32 degrees. This isn't really gonna freeze up, but if it was zero, you run into problems, your trap's right down there, you sink the spud bar into it, you mess up your traps. They're not cheap, so something to keep in mind. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, let's see. I see one. Oh yeah, got some bait. Nice. All right. Oh, these are these are perfect size too. I got a That's actually really not bad for we've I've never trapped this pond before. Got almost a dozen. All right, so if you look in here, we got about a dozen like perfect heavy mediums, which is surprising. Um, I believe these are called red fin dace. I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up. Perfect, you know, I've seen a lot more in there, but that's literally what I need for tomorrow, so that's perfect. So I might reset this and uh, 